Lewis and Clark expedition was a journey to explore western land and to learn about its environment and its indigenous inhabitants. Because of the Louisiana Purchase, which occurred shortly before the expedition, American citizens could move on to the newly purchased land after it was explored. Lewis, Clark, and Sacagawea, a helpful Native American, were America's hope for its growing country. Jefferson hired his personal secretary, Meriwether Lewis, to head an expedition to explore the Western Territory. In 1801, Jefferson sent Lewis to UPenn, where he studied celestial navigation and wilderness survival. In January 1803, during Lewis's studies, Jefferson secretly asked Congress for funds, which he received in the spring. Right after that, he was coincidentally offered an opportunity to buy the Louisiana Territory from the French. Lewis chose William Clark, his previous military superior, to head the expedition with him. They collected the Corps of Discovery, which in total contained 33 men and one dog. On May 14, 1804, the Corps of Discovery began its trek up the Missouri in St. Louis in the pouring rain. As they went on, Clark navigated and created maps of the areas. Lewis studied the area's plants, animals, and even rocks. They met many Native American tribes. Some, like the Oto and Missouri, were friendly, whereas some, like the Teton Sioux, were not. In late October, the Corps reached North Dakota and befriended a tribe of Hidatsa and Mandan Native Americans. Because winter was coming, they decided to stay and build a fort, Fort Mandan, near the tribe. In the Hidatsa tribe were French fur trader Toussaint Charbonneau and his Shoshone wife Sacagawea. Because they both knew many Native American languages, Lewis and Clark hired them as translators. As they went on, Sacagawea helped them in many ways. As Clark said, the sight of this Indian woman confirmed those people of our friendly intentions as no woman ever accompanies a war party of Indians in this quarter. Therefore, Sacagawea and her baby were a sign of peace. A native to the land, she also knew an abundance of facts on plants, animals, the land, and the people. In fact, when they ran into a group of Shoshones, she even got them to give the Corps two horses. And now, a spotlight on Sacagawea. As a child, Sacagawea was an adventurous little girl with a big heart. She was the daughter of a Shoshone chief. One day, her tribe was attacked by Hidatsas, and she was kidnapped and taken to their village. A year after, she was sold to Charbonneau as a wife, and they continued living there with the Hidatsas. As they continued on, they reached another large challenge, the Rocky Mountains. In August 1805, the Corps was forced to travel through the snow-capped mountains. As supplies dwindled, the horses, people, and dog almost died. It took 11 whole days to cross the mountains. In November 1805, the crew reached the Pacific. On a Thursday, November 7, 1805 journal entry, Lewis and Clark wrote, Great joy in camp, we are in view of the ocean in the morning when fog cleared off just below the last village. This great Pacific Ocean which we have been so long anxious to see and the roaring or noise made by the waves breaking on the rocky shores may be heard distinctly. They stayed the winter in what is now the state of Oregon. They sorted and charted their newfound information and continued to gather more. In March 1806, the crew packed up and headed for home. On their way back, they stopped at the Hidatsa village to drop off Sacagawea and her family. With many thanks and unpaid debt of gratitude, the Corps of Discovery continued on the last leg of their journey. On September 23, 1806, the Corps of Discovery finally reached St. Louis. Their entire trip had taken two years, four months, and ten days. Connecticut Though the Corps of Discovery clearly did not travel to Connecticut in their expedition, a member of the Corps, Private Ebenezer Tuttle, came from Connecticut. He was part of the return party on the expedition, so when they met the Sioux and traded, he went back with some of the Sioux to get them to talk to Jefferson and to show the traded items. On the journey, his specialty was in artillery. He was born in New Haven, Connecticut. Conclusion Lewis said, Buffalo, elk, and goats or antelopes feeding in every direction, we kill whatever we wish, the buffalo furnish us with fine veal and fat beef. We also have venison and beaver tails when we wish them. The flesh of the elk and goat are less esteemed and certainly are inferior. We have not been able to take any fish for some time past. The country is as yesterday beautiful in the extreme. 
The journey was not only to find information, it was also Jefferson's way to give the whole country a beautiful inspiration. The Lewis and Clark expedition had mainly five goals. To reach the Pacific Ocean, to make comprehensive maps of the West, to describe flora and fauna, to interact with the Native Americans in that area, and most of all, to live to tell about it. Overall, what did they accomplish? We believe that they accomplished all of this. Why? Because Americans live there now. Had Lewis and Clark not had a successful expedition, Americans would not have the courage to move west because they would not know about it. Thanks to Lewis, Clark, and Sacagawea, America can be the beautiful country it is today.